also another option that we've got on there is the ability to add structural members now a structural member in this case I'm going to use the old caddy steel application which gives you profile shapes H and I sections uh, lipped Z channels etc so I'm just going to use the H section you choose the size that you want to use those structural members can either be added as columns at the height of let's say one meter and once I indicate the position you will see it draws a column and in exactly the same way if I do a structural member as a beam indicating points I can draw a structural member going from left to right like this so once again doing a three-dimensional orbit you will see those steel profiles are now AEC objects that is now placed in your model. Once you select one of these profiles, for instance this one over here, I can go to object properties on the structural member and add trim planes. Now remember this structural member was drawn from left to right, meaning the start point is left, the end point is right. So if I add uh, a trim plane let's say from the start meaning from the left with an offset of 150 millimeters let's cut it by rotating it around the Z axis once I click on rotate Z and I say 45 degrees I can add that and then from the end as well I can offset it 150 and rotate it along the Y axis 45 degrees once you say OK, you will see it cuts those trim planes onto that specific structural member.